we're back with a blander, similar name, similar logo, same great rules and fun. You guys know how this show works, so I'm not gonna bore you with the rules. And if you don't, you can go back to our other episodes here on MCTV HD. Quarantine Quiz Show and In-Person Quiz Show are the exact same shows, just with a different name. But today we have a great show to kick off the new era of Quiz Show for you. We've got Colin, we've got Gene, we've got Kate here today to compete for you. Say hi, guys. How's it going? Hello, hey. You guys excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that, was, that seemed like a real enthused, like... Very hyped. Yeah, so do we want to keep waiting or do you want to just get into this, get started? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's just get started. Yeah, you guys are real excited today, aren't you? <laughs> All right, hopefully that enthusiasm kicks up as we go. But for now, we are going to start with our first buzz around, as always. So, first question from movies. Let's see it. It is, what was the movie that began the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Buzzers are live. Kate was quick to buzz in. Iron Man. Iron Man is the correct answer. So that is a quick 50 points to Kate to start off. But we still have plenty of game to go, obviously. That was the first question. Next for the toss-up round for you guys is uh, buzzers. From sports and games, I ask you, which two football teams play in New Jersey despite being named after New York? Buzzers are live. Gene was quick to buzz in with that one. The Giants and the Jets. Giants and the Jets are the correct answers. I could see as soon as I was reading that question, you were, you were going for it. You knew that one. Um, all right, but you guys can put your buzzers away for now. We are moving on to round one. With round one, we are going to start with... Movies. So, for movies first, Colin, I'm going to come to you. I ask you, what is the name of the killer in Scream? Oh, hmm. I don't really watch horror movies. Uh, I, kn I know, like, what he looks like. Uh, is it, like, Ghostface? Ghostface is the correct answer. That's a pretty good guess. I'd say Scream, if, if you're looking to get into horror ones, maybe wait a little bit, because it's a little meta, but it is a good movie. It is a good, good horror slasher movie, so definitely as October's coming up and... It's spooky season now. Yeah. <laughs> but Gene, we are coming to you for your first movie question. After a quick hundred from Colin. Gene, I ask you, in the movie What We Do in the Shadows, directed by Taika Waititi, what mythical creature is being recorded in their day-to-day -day life? Oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to just take a guess and say... Um, Remember, there are no negative points, so it doesn't hurt to throw a guess out there. A phoenix? Phoenix is unfortunately incorrect, so Kate, we are moving on to you. Vampires. Vampires are the correct answer. You were, you were quick with that one. Oh, yeah, steal. I love that show. Good show, good Have you seen the movie? No, I haven't. Is it good? The movie is very good. It's like yeah. the pilot, but better. So, but we're coming right back to you for your own movie question, Kate. I ask you, what sport does Adam Sandler's character participate in in Happy Gilmore? Bro, I cannot tell you. No guess? No. Nope. Oh, fine. I'll just say a name. A name? A random name? A ra random sport. What sport? So Tennis. Tennis, unfortunately, incorrect, so Colin gets a chance to steal. Uh, golf? Golf is the correct answer, so Colin gets that steal, and uh, we are moving right back to him for his own question. Still from movies, Colin, I ask you, where does the father end up living after the events of the movie Parasite? Oh. Bit of a spoiler if you haven't seen it, I guess, but... I haven't seen it. Neither have I, but uh. <laughs> go for it. I'm going to guess New York City. <laughs> New York City is unfortunately incorrect. So, Gene, we are moving to you. I also haven't seen it, but I'm going to guess Mars. Mars is also unfortunately incorrect. Uh, a bit more self-contained. Uh, he moves to the basement of the house. So, not quite New York City. Not, definitely not quite Mars. Um, but that's all right. We are moving back on to Gene. Gene, I ask you, where does Andrew Neiman see his old teacher, Terrence Fletcher, after both of them are kicked out of Schaefer in Whiplash? The bar. The bar is unfortunately incorrect, so we are moving on to Kate. We're looking for a little more specific. Uh, oh, shit. That's really good. Uh, the laundromat. The laundromat is also unfortunately incorrect. It is the jazz club. Oh. But, Kate, we are moving back to you for your own question. I ask you, what sea creature does Moana's grandmother have tattooed on her back in Moana? The manta ray. The manta ray is correct. Yes, we will accept that. Stingray. It's a yeah. stingray, yes. Yeah. But we will, we will absolutely accept that. Cool. So, that rounds off our, uh, our movie category. So we are now moving on, still 100 points, to sports and games. So, Colin, I'm coming to you first from sports and games. I ask you, what is it called when a hockey player scores three goals in one game? I have absolutely no idea. No idea, no guess? Uh, a triple point. <laughs> triple point is a good guess, unfortunately not correct. So, Gene, you get a chance to steal. That would be a hat trick. It would be a hat trick. So, Gene gets, excuse me, the steal there. Then we're moving right back to you to see if you can put another 100 points on the board from sports and games. 
I ask you, what position do Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Joe Burrow all play professionally? Quarterback. Quarterback is the correct answer. They are all NFL players. They all play quarterback. Some a little older than others. Uh, but Kate, we're moving to you for your own sports and games question. I ask you, what sports premiere event is called the Daytona 500? Um, soccer. Soccer is a good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. I incorrect. Incorrect. Jeez. <laughs> incorrect. Colin, you get the chance to steal. Uh, NASCAR. NASCAR is the correct answer. Down in Florida, they have their their big race every year. Um, but we are coming right back to you uh, again for your own question from sports and games. Still, I ask you, Colin. In 2017, which baseball team was caught stealing signs from opposing teams? Real big scandal in the baseball world. I do not follow baseball, uh, so I have. I'm going to say uh, the White Sox. White Sox are a baseball team, so that's not a bad guess, but it is unfortunately incorrect, so Gene gets a chance to steal. Houston Astros. Houston Astros is correct. I guess you kind of had an unfair advantage. Now that I'm looking at you with your Yankees hat and your baseball sweatshirt. They don't deserve the ring. You know what? Hot, that, I don't want to even say that's a hot take. I think that's just fair. I think, I think that's fair. If you cheat, you don't, you don't get to win. No. no. But I'm coming right back to you, Gene, for your own question different sport this time. I ask you, this past spring, the Boston Celtics lost to which NBA team in the NBA Finals? Oh, man. Basketball is the sport I followed the least. <laughs> it is, um, I believe it was Golden State, right? Can we get a little more specific? Uh, the Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors is the correct answer. Uh, they did win the, the ring that year after the Celtics had a real great underdog season. Yeah, I, I didn't follow did. too much, but once they got to the playoffs, I knew it was like a big deal. They were pretty good. Yeah, well, I guess they're not usually, so yeah, it was I'm a big, big deal. History. Yeah, but Kate, we are moving on to you to finish up round one, finish up sports and games here. I ask you, the NFL's yearly video game release is named after which legendary coach? That is not a confident look of, <laughs> oh, I know this no. one. Oh, oh, no. Any uh, guess? Uh, Somebody under the name of John is what I have. That's all I have. That's all you have? That's all I've got. Unfortunately, it's not specific enough. Colin, you get a chance to steal here. Uh, John Madden. John Madden is the correct answer. Kate, you were halfway there. Did you know, did you know that? <laughs> oh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you okay. had yeah, half of it. Cool. You were almost there. Yeah. John Madden, yes, legendary coach, and every year a new Madden game releases, which is the same game as the last year, just with new players. It, people spend so much money on that game for no reason. I don't get it. That's Anyways, funny. we're done with round one. I'm going to get off my soapbox here. We're done with round one, so we'll take a quick look in with the scores after round one. Our first round, Gene has jumped into the lead with 450. Colin was close behind with 400. Kate, not too far behind with 250. Remember, points are more, worth more in each round, and we still have that wage round coming up at the end. But for now, let's get your buzzers out for one more buzzer round. We're going to be asking you two more questions for a couple more points than the first one. I see Gene is back on. Waiting for Kate and Colin. I see Kate is back on. And I see Colin is back on. So two more buzzer, round, uh, buzzer questions. Except, excuse me. Jeez, I am all tongue twisted tonight. Before we get into round two, first from music, I ask you, what group performed Bohemian Rhapsody? Gene was quick to buzz Queen. in. Queen is the correct answer. A quick more, more points for Gene there. Next question, last buzzer question of the night. From history, I ask you, who was the Hoover Dam named after? Colin was very quick on that one. Uh, Herbert Hoover. President Herbert Hoover is the correct answer. Colin put some more points on the board. You guys can put your phones away uh, for the rest of the night here. We are moving on to round two. Like I said, points are worth a little bit more. So round two, we are going to start tonight with music. So Colin, I'm coming to you first. From music, I ask you, what was Elvis Presley's debut song? Mm. Uh, I do not, I don't know many Elvis songs. Uh, Hound Dog. Hound Dog is a good guess. Popular Elvis song, unfortunately incorrect. So Gene, you get a chance to steal here. Well, it's either, I'm just going to go to say Jailhouse Rock. Jailhouse Rock, also another popular one, also mm. unfortunately incorrect. Correct answer was That's All Right. I don't believe that's one of his more popular ones. I've never heard of that. Did anyone watch that new Elvis movie? Elvis I'd like Elvis. to. Yeah, I, haven't seen it. I watched like the first five minutes of it. Five, it's long, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I've yeah. heard it's long, but I've heard good things about it's it. It's got the guy from Glee. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Really? And it's got Tom Hanks. Who, yeah. who doesn't love Tom Hanks? I love Tom Hanks. Anyways, Gene, we are coming right back to you for music. I ask you, what method of singing is Louis Armstrong famous for pioneering? Um, I don't know if there's a 
specific word for it, but jazz. Jazz is a specific word. It is unfortunately the incorrect specific word. So Kate, we are moving on to you for your guess. Unfortunately, jazz was also my guess. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um, I guess bass something? I bass don't know. something is unfortunately incorrect. Yeah. He was famous for pioneering scatting. Scatting, very like beep boop 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 you, you know. I'm, mm -hmm. Whatever. I'm not a music guy. No, Kate, I know I'm what you're saying. I know it's Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kate, I'm coming to you for your own music question now. I ask you, who played Hamilton in the Broadway show of the hit musical Hamilton? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. no. I know this, too. Well, if you know it, you're going to get some points for it. No. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, wow. I'm going to have to pass on that. I don't Can I have to pass? No yeah. guess? Yeah, name blinked fully out. Uh, unfortunately, we are moving on to Colin for the steal here. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Yeah. Lin-Manuel Miranda there is the go. correct answer. Is oh, that yeah. the one you're thinking of? Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. Colin gets the points there, and we're coming right back to him for his own music question. Colin, I ask you, who composed the iconic score for Star Wars? Uh, John Williams. John Williams is the correct answer. Legendary composer did Star Wars, E.T., Indiana Jones, Superman, pretty much anything Spielberg's done. Um, and obviously Star Wars. But Gene, I'm moving on to you now for your music question. I ask you, who originally sang the song Johnny Be Good? Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is the correct answer. We also would have accepted Marty McFly. Kate, <laughs> I am coming to you now for uh, the last music question of tonight. I ask you, what dance move, another Elvis question, did Elvis Presley perform that almost caused him to be arrested? Isn't it the knees? The... I, I, the will knees? Accept, I will say there is not a specific name, there's a common name for it that yeah. we're sort of looking for, but if you can describe it to me, I will the, award the, the points. He does it in Forrest Gump. Are we allowed to name Gump? Yeah, he yes, does it in Forrest Gump. Yeah, With yeah, the yeah. Needs. Yes, so yeah. there's not technically a name for it. Kate does get the points for that. Uh, that is sort of called the wiggle, uh, but again, there's no official name for it. That's just commonly what it's been referred to. But that wraps up music um, for round two. We're moving on to history, still worth 200 points. Coming right back down to Colin. Colin from History, I ask you, in which month and year was the Berlin Wall taken down? Okay, so I, I don't know the month. I think the year is 1991, but I don't know the, the month. I'm gonna guess. gonna guess March. Unfortunately, March 1991 Ooh. is incorrect, so Gene gets a chance to steal here. Oh, geez, I totally learned about this in history, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say it was in June 1943. 1943 is a little early. Okay, I, I was confusing with something else. Yeah, correct answer was November 1989. So Colin was, Colin was close, um, but yes, it was unfortunately November 9th, 1989, though we didn't ask you for the day. But no one gets the points there, and Gene, I'm coming right back to you for some redemption here. Gene, I ask you, what president is on the $2 bill? Is that Monroe? Monroe is a good guess, unfortunately. Incorrect, so Kate gets a chance to steal here. U.S. President on the $2 bill. More uh, rare bill. I don't even know. I don't think they still make them, but I believe they still accept yeah, them. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I don't know if I know enough presidents. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, I guess is no. What? Any guess? Any guess? Any guess. Any guess. I don't have any guess, unfortunately. No my, guess? My president knowledge is so, so small. Oh, unfortunately, no one gets the points for that one. It is Thomas Jefferson, uh, our third president, uh, second vice president, is on the, the face of the $2 bill. But Kate, I'm coming right back to you for your own history question. I ask you, John F. Kennedy was assassinated in which city? In which city? Which city? Was it? I don't know why Detroit is what I want to say. I don't think that's correct. But Final I'm... guess, Detroit. Yeah. Detroit is unfortunately incorrect. Mm -hmm. So, Colin, I'm coming to you for the steal. Uh, Dallas. Dallas, Texas is the correct answer um, out by the, the Texas School Book Depository. So, I, I think you had the, the city with start, started with a D. I think that might have been where I'll you were thinking I'll take that credit. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Colin, I'm coming right back to you uh, for your own history question. I ask you, what year did California become a state? Remember, mm -hmm. these are getting a little tougher as the game progresses. Uh... Is it 1850? 1850 is the correct answer. Oh, wow. I, was that a guess or did you know that? Cause I sort of knew it. I remember okay. learning about that in history, but I didn't like... Yes, after the, the gold rush of uh, 1849, hence the San Francisco 49ers, um, it was a state in 1850, uh, made a state. But Gene, I'm coming to you for your own history question. I ask you, during World War I, there was a temporary truce on which holiday in 1914? 
That was Christmas. That was Christmas Day. So uh, Gene gets those points, and we are coming down to Kate to finish off this category, finish off round two. Kate, I ask you, which phrase first appeared on a U.S. coin during the Civil War? Um, that's a really good question. Phrase is currently still on our U.S. coins, but first appeared back in on the 1860s. On, on like U.S. currency. Yep. Yeah. Um, life, liberty, and land. I don't know. That I don't know. A, a good guess, unfortunately, incorrect. So Colin gets a chance to uh, snag some more points here. Phrase first appeared on a U.S. coin during the Civil War. Uh, in God We Trust. In God We Trust is the correct answer. First appeared in the 1860s, and like I said, is still on our currency today. But that wraps up round two, so we will take a look at the scores. But, uh, yes, we will take a look at the scores. So Colin is in first place with 1,500. Gene is in second place with 1,000. Kate is starting to catch up with 450. Remember, the last round, questions are worth 400 points, and we still have that wage round coming up. But before we get to round three, we are going to get to know our contestants a little bit. Uh, Colin, I'm coming to you first. Um, Colin, you're not uh, new to the quiz show scene, is that correct? Yes, uh, that's, that is correct. Okay, so you've been on, on quiz show before. Yep. How did you like it last time compared to this time? It was fun last time. Uh, I kind of liked having uh, the podiums, but chairs are yes. nice too. Hopefully we will get the podiums back. This is hopefully a, a temporary setup, but I kind of like the chairs. It's a little homier. Maybe I'll get a chair too. And I'll just sit in like a nice a nice little little sofa or recliner or something. Um, how are you feeling in terms of last game, this game? More confident, less confident? You think you're going to take on the win this time? Yeah, I'm de definitely feeling a little more confident than last time. Uh, I think I got a de decent lead, not, not, to, not to brag, I guess, but... You know, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident going into the rest of the game. All right, that's what I like to hear. Gene, I'm coming to you next. Gene, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What year of school are you? What are you looking, uh, what are you studying here? Uh, I'm from Hawthorne, New Jersey. I'm a freshman sports communication major. Um, I'm looking to maybe get an internship with one of the big sports networks like YES or ESPN, SNY. I'd like to work somewhere in the sports scene, and I'd also like to preface, I have known almost every single answer to the questions that I couldn't steal on or participate in, See, that, and it's so frustrating. I know, it, it's, <laughs> it's frustrating in the quiz show scene. you got to hope that Colin slips up, but Colin's doing pretty well. What do you think you're, uh, we've got coming up still, we've got literature and we've got TV. Which are you feeling more confident on? Uh, probably, I mean, I'm not confident in, any of, in either of them. <laughs> Um, but probably literature I'm a little more confident in. Literature, all right. We like to call literature here the, the, the category that like proves you didn't read anything in high school because it's a lot of, a lot of questions about the books that we were supposed to read in high school and it, it kind of uh, pulls back the curtain and shows that maybe we all were just on spark notes in high school. But did you, did you read the books in high school? You think you're... Oh, no, I was spark notes. All right, well, let's... But I let's, think I'll, if, if I get one, I know, I'll know it. There you go. Let's hopefully uh, spark notes was, was enough. So... Kate, I'm coming to you, last but not least. Again, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What year in school are you? Uh, what are you studying here? Um, I am from California. I'm a sophomore, and I'm studying film and television, and I can promise I'm a little bit brighter than we may appear on now, the show at the moment. Trivia does not reflect brightness. I, I will absolutely give that to you. Now, I heard before the show that you spent a semester in Florence. Is that correct? Yes. How did yeah. you like it there? I spent the year in Florence, actually. The year yeah. in Florence, okay. Yeah, it was good. It was very different, very interesting. I like being here and seeing animals and grass. It's nice. Not a lot of animals in Florence? No, we were in the center of the city. You had to walk okay. like 20 minutes to find like little fenced off grass triangle. Okay, and how do you feel, you know, being here for a couple weeks compared to being in Florence? What do you like in more, you think? Um, I mean, it sounds weird, but probably here. Probably, probably here? Probably here. All right. I just, I like plants. That's, a lot. No, that's yeah. good. It's a very, very green campus here. Just mm -hmm. don't let anyone from admissions hear that you said that. We, okay. we like to send our kids to Florence here. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. But we are moving on now uh, to round three. Uh, last but not least, these are worth 400 points, and they are a little bit tougher. Uh, but that means it's still anyone's game, and at the end, we still get that triple wager round coming up. So, Colin, I'm coming to you first. As I mentioned, we uh, still have literature and TV to go. We are starting off with TV. So, Colin, from TV, I ask you, what TV show did prosecutors complain about because of its influence on real-life juries? Um, CSI? CSI is the correct answer, CSI Crime Scene Investigation. I guess people were probably assuming more, that they knew more than they actually did, and I don't know, I, I wasn't there. I don't watch CSI, I'm not a big crime, crime show guy, but popular show. Gene, I'm coming to you for your own TV question. I ask you, which actress played Phoebe Buffay's twin in Friends? 
I have no idea. No idea, I've watched, no guess? I've watched Friends and I have no idea. No guess? No guess. No guess, so Kate, that means you get a chance to it's, steal this one. It's, it's Phoebe, it's Lisa Boudreau, right? Lisa Boudreau is unfortunately the incorrect mm. answer. It's actually Helen Hunt guest star to play her, her twin. Yes, it was a whole gag that it wasn't actually Lisa Boudreau, but I, I would have guessed the same thing. Okay. But we're coming right back to you for your own question from TV Still. I ask you, which Roseanne cast member went on to star in the show Scrubs? Oh, that's a good question. Um, who am I thinking of? Like I said, these are 400 points. They are a little tougher. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I'm probably not gonna be right with this. Isn't it the main guy, isn't it, Zach? Zach uh, Raff is unfortunately incorrect, which means Colin gets a chance to steal. I don't think I have a guess for this one. I have no clue. No guess, this is a harder question. Answer is Sarah Chalk. I'm not sure who she played on either show. Um, both a little out of my, my preference, I guess. But nonetheless, Colin, we're coming right back to you for your own TV question. I ask you, what was the number one streamed Netflix show in 2021? Hmm. That is, that is a good question. Uh, Stranger Things? Stranger Things is a good guess, unfortunately. Mm. Incorrect, which means Gene gets a chance to steal. Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad, also a good guess, also unfortunately. Mm. Incorrect. Answer is Criminal Minds um, had a, a resurgence on Netflix. Or I guess it's, I would say re resurgence, but I feel like it's always something people talk about. It's one of those, it's probably just a Netflix of like putting on, on Netflix. Um, I think I said Netflix twice there. This is just not my night for talking. Anyways, Gene, I'm coming to you for your own question. I ask you, what TV show invented the rerun to allow its star time to recover during and after pregnancy? Oh, I'm not like up to date with all these. I'm gonna say Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Keeping Up With The Kardashians, unfortunately, did not invent the rerun, so Kate gets a chance to steal. Oh gosh, um, maybe, ooh, uh, is it, is it, oh, it was something Beaver. Isn't it like Beaver? Um, thinking about Leave It to Beaver? Yes. Right arrow, wrong TV show, unfortunately. It was I Love oh, Lucy. Oh, I misunderstood the, the whole the question. question. I <laughs> thought it was a modern show. Would like, you have known I Love Lucy? I probably would not have guessed it, but there you go. that That's, would have been one of my options. I appreciate the honesty. Uh, if you do take um, Media 101 here or Media 102, I think, you'll, you'll learn all about this, about Lucille Ball was pregnant, and so uh, she had the idea to just re-air old episodes while she was recovering. Um, and thus was born the rerun, which we still have today, obviously. Uh, but I'm coming now to Kate with the last question of TV. Kate, I ask you, what actress starred as the lead in Lizzie McGuire? Both movie and show. Isn't that Hillary, uh, Hillary Duff? Hillary Duff is the correct answer. Uh, so Kate put some points on the board there. I think I almost heard Hillary Duff, but you did yeah. correct it in time. Uh, so Kate gets those 400 points to round off TV. We're coming out to the uh, last category of the night with literature. I said, we'll see how much you guys read in high school. Colin, I'm coming to you first. I ask you, how many sonnets did Shakespeare write? Oh. <laughs> Again, I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but these are tougher questions in round three here. Uh, I know you wrote a lot. Uh, Certainly true. So I'm going to say 150. 150 is close, but unfortunately incorrect. So Gene will have the chance to steal. 146. 146 is a little less close, 154. So Colin was almost right on the money there. Uh, Did you have like a general idea or just I, a guess? I just, that was just a guess, honestly. A guess. It was a pretty good guess. But we're moving on to Gene now with his own question. I ask you, Gene, what novel was written by P.L. Travers and later adapted into a Disney movie? Jungle Book? Jungle Book is a good guess, unfortunately incorrect, which means Kate gets the chance to steal here. P.L. Travers' novel later adapted into a Disney movie. Ooh. Um, I, I, I'm just going to throw out names. Pinocchio? Pinocchio is unfortunately incorrect. The correct answer was Mary Poppins, um, as shown by the movie uh, Saving Mr. Banks is all about P.L. Travers and Walt Disney's relationship as they made that movie. Um, she wrote a couple of these. It was like a, a series for children, but she was not, not a big fan of putting the animated penguins in the movie, which I think are endearing, but, you know, who am I to say? Kate, we are coming to you for your own literature question now for 400 points. I ask you... Where does a murder occur in Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code? The museum, right? Can I get a little more specific? Looking for the name of the museum. The... Um, the, 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 the British Museum of History? Of British Natural Museum History? of History, is that yeah. a final guess? Sure. Unfortunately, incorrect, which means uh, Colin gets a chance to steal here. 
Is it the Museum of Natural History? Natural History, also unfortunately incorrect. Correct answer is the Louvre in Paris. Famous art museum. Gene knew that one. I would have got that. Gene yeah. would have gotten that one. Uh, good movie. I haven't seen the book. That's another one Tom Hanks is in. I love Tom Hanks, yeah. man. I don't know about you guys. I love Tom Hanks. <laughs> um, anyways, we are moving on now to Colin. Last literature question for Colin. Colin, I ask you, in the Harry Potter series, what was Voldemort's name as a student? Uh, Tom Riddle? Tom Riddle is correct. Uh, another 400 points. If you take his, his first and last and middle name and rearrange the letters, spoilers for a 20-year-old book, it spells out I am Lord Voldemort. I don't know if that was intentional or if she, you know, J.K. Rowling did that after or what, but it was a clever thing. Anyways, I'm rambling about Harry Potter. Gene, I'm coming to you for your own literature question. I ask you, which of the Bronte sisters wrote Jane Eyre? Um. I don't know the Brontes. I know, I've heard of them. I'm just going to guess Mary. Mary is unfortunately not one of the Bronte sisters. Yeah, I so, don't know Kate, I'm moving on to you. I will give you a hint. You get three options. I'm not giving you the options, but you do have three options to no, choose that's from. That's fair. Ooh. Uh, I want to say, oh, I don't think this is the right name. Sarah? Sarah is unfortunately also incorrect. Yeah. It was Charlotte Bronte, wrote Jane Eyre. Uh, three sisters wrote a lot of, a lot of classics. Uh, a few of which you will read if you're in any English classes here at Marist. But we have one more literature question to round out the regular rounds for tonight. Kate, I ask you, what is the best-selling book of all time? Ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, emphasize book, not novel. Best-selling book of all time. That, I feel like that's a hint, but I'm not going to, I'm going to say The Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby is a good guess, unfortunately incorrect, which means Colin gets a chance to steal. Uh, the Bible? The Bible is the correct answer. Not technically a novel, but it is technically the best-selling book of all time. So that rounds out uh, our normal rounds here. So at the end of round three here, we'll take a look at the scores. But before we do, we have a minor correction. I've been told by my producers behind the scenes. Uh, we did actually incorrectly uh, tell Kate that she was wrong in her friend's question earlier. Uh, Lisa Kudrow did play her, her own twin sister. Uh, it was not Helen Hunt. So we have awarded Kate those points, uh, which puts her a little closer uh, in the running here. So as we move into our first wager round, we'll take a look at the scores here. In first place, I need the scores. In first place, we have Colin with 2,700. Gene is still at 1,000 after that round, and Kate has jumped into second place with 1,250. So Colin in first, Kate in second, Gene in third. We will now ask you guys which questions that we want everyone to be quizzed on here tonight. First, it will be Colin's question, then Kate's question, then Gene's. Uh, but you will all wager uh, accordingly on all three of those questions. So Colin, of the six categories we had here tonight, which one would you like everyone to uh, answer? Uh, let's go with movies. All right, we are going to start with movies. Kate, of the six we have here tonight that weren't movies, uh, which would you like everyone to answer a question from? Uh, literature. So we're going to start with movies, move on to literature. Last but not least, Gene? Sports. Sports. So we're going to uh, do movies, then literature, then sports and games. So with a reminder, your guys' scores uh, are 2,700. Kate has 1,250. Gene, you have 1,000. That in mind, if you guys want to write down your wagers uh, for our movie question, remember, if you get this wrong, you will lose these points. If you get it right, you will get these points. And we do still have two more questions coming up. So when you guys have your wagers down, you can let me know. Is the max wager our point total? It is, but if you get it wrong, you will lose all those points. And you will only be allowed to wager 250 after that. Which you won't lose. There are no negative points in Quisha. We're nicer than that. Is everyone ready with their wagers? Gene's writing an awful lot down for a number. Oh, oh, I thought we were writing them all down for everything. No, 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 we'll, we'll wait because uh, as your scores change, uh, you might want to wager a little more, might want to wager a little less. Okay. All right, so, you guys got your wagers down? From movies, you guys have 30 seconds from the time I finish reading the question to write your answers down. Try not to look at each other's boards. From movies, I ask you, what is the name of the fictional country that the Grand Budapest Hotel is located in? 30 seconds are on the clock now. Again, these are, these are more difficult questions because you guys choose the scores, but... Looking for the name of the country that the Grand Budapest Hotel is located in. The Wes Anderson movie. About half of your time is up. So you still got another 15 seconds or so. Remember, we do take away points for this one, so. Five, four, three, two, one. Pencils down. We're going to come to Colin first, see what he wagered, what he guessed. 
I know this is wrong, and I'm I'm kicking myself because I recently just saw this movie, but I forgot oh, what no. it is. So I'm so, gonna say Austria. I know it's wrong. Colin but... has wagered 250 points and guessed Austria. That is unfortunately incorrect. <laughs> Austria is a very real country, uh, and not one where the Grand Budapest Hotel is located in. Gene, we are coming to you next. Gene, how much did you wager? What'd you guess? Uh, 200, and this is such a bad guess, but I guessed Narnia because that was the only. Narnia is at least fictional, unfortunately not yeah, correct. I so, have no idea. Yeah, Gene will lose 200 points there. Kate, last but not least. Or does that say Aux, Aux Provident? How do you pronounce that? I don't know, man. Okay. I think it's and French. You wagered 200, is that? Unfortunately. Kate wagered 200, unfortunately, was also incorrect. Correct answer was Zabrowka. Z U B R O W K A. Fictional country. Um, so after that, we'll take a look at the scores once again to see what you guys want to wager. Colin, after losing 250, you were down to 2450. Kate, after losing 200 points, you were down to 1050. Gene, after your 200 points lost, you were down to 800. So we're going to move on to literature next. Uh, so if you guys want to make your wagers based on those scores, based on the fact that we're going to be answering a literature question, be a reminder your scores are on the board out there. Everyone ready with their wagers? From literature, again, 30 seconds on the clock once I'm done reading the question. In what fictional city, we love our fictional places here, in what fictional city is Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird set? 30 seconds on the clock. Looking for the name of the city where To Kill a Mockingbird takes place, and it is not a real city. If that counts as a hint. It's got about 15 seconds left. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Pencils down. Colin, we are going to come to you first, where we think To Kill a Mockingbird was set. How much did you wager first? So I did 150, and I think it's Maycomb? Maycomb is the correct answer, so Colin will be awarded those 150 points. Maycomb, Alabama is where it is set. Gene, let's see if you got that. Uh, I wagered 50, and it's real. Montgomery, Alabama is real. I knew it started with an M. Montgomery, Alabama is it. very real, so you will unfortunately lose those 50 points. Kate, last but not least. Oh, mine's not even close. I just wrote down Scout. Scout is yeah. related to, to Kill Mockingbird, <laughs> so you will unfortunately lose 100 points. I saw you wagered there. Um, yes, Colin is the only one to get it correct. Maycomb, Alabama is the fictional city in which uh, To Kill Mockingbird was set. But we have one last question here. Take, again, a look at the new scores. Colin, you are still in first place with 2,600. Kate is still in second place, but has dropped down to 950. Jean, third, last but not least, in, uh, with 750 points. We are doing music, oh no, excuse me, sports and games. So based on that, knowing that we're gonna answer a sports and games question based on how many points you have, you guys wanna write your wagers down. When you're done with that, I will read your question and we will round out the, the, the game for the night. Remember, 2,600, 950, and 750 are the scores right now. Sports and games. Just have your wagers down. All set. All right. From Sports and Games, last question of the night to possibly win it all. I ask you, in 2019, the New Jersey Devils selected who overall in the NHL draft? 30 seconds start now. Gene, you were awful quick with that one. Got our sports guy here. First overall NHL draft pick for the New Jersey Devils. It's been about 15 seconds, so you guys have about half your time left. That's about 10 seconds left. Might as well put a guess, any guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Pencils down. Colin, we are coming to you first. Unfortunately, it looks like you were not able to get an answer down. Yeah, I, I don't know. No guess? No guess. 300 points will be deducted from you, unfortunately. Gene, you were awful quick with that. Let's see how much you wagered and uh, what your guess was. 750, Jack Hughes. 750 went for it all. Jack Hughes is the correct answer. So hockey is at your second favorite sport? It's like my fourth, dude. Four? All right, all right. Well, you still knew it, so yeah. that's, uh, that's what's important. That will award you those 750. Kate, last but not least, wagered 10 points. And uh, is that John, John McGuire? Yeah. Uh, is that a real yeah. person? I don't know. Uh, it's probably that's someone fine. out there. There goes that. Um, unfortunately, incorrect. But you'll only lose 10 points. That was a smart wager. So take a look at the scores at the end of the game. Kate is only dropping down to 940, but has unfortunately slipped into third place. Gene managed to double his points uh, to 1,500, but Colin could not be caught. With 2,300 points, Colin, you are today's winner. Congratulations. 
What are you doing next? You going to Disney World with that or? I mean, maybe. I <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, did you did you win last time on Quiz Show? I think I did. So you are you are two and zero right now in yeah. terms of your Quiz Show record. Yeah. I believe only one other person in, in quiz show, our three-year Quiz Show history has done. I believe uh, Eli is the only other person to have won two games so far. So you are in a, a Quiz Show Hall of Fame for this yeah. two and a half season web series. Does that, does that make you feel good? Yeah. All right. Let's go. You guys have fun at least. Yes, that's, if everyone had fun, then I think we're all real winners here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I like to say. Exactly. prizes. Exactly, all exactly, yeah. yep. Thank you to Colin, Gene, and Kate for being such great contestants here tonight. Congratulations again to Colin for winning again on Quiz Show. If you'd like to see any of our previous episodes of either Quarantine Quiz Show or In-Person Quiz Show or any other future questions, excuse me, future episodes of Just Quiz Show, you can find them right here on MCTV HD on YouTube. You can find us on Instagram as well. But for now, we're going to sign off here tonight. We will see you guys next time with three more contestants. Same name. I think we're going to stick with Quiz Show for now. Same rules, same fun. Thank you again to everyone for being such great contestants. But for now, good night, and we'll see you next time.